sure for anybody who's been watching the news, uh, the biggest thing has been the Road 702 fire, which happened, oh, roughly two weeks ago. Before that, we had the Road 739 fire. Uh, the Road 702 burnt about 45,000 acres. That was in uh, Furness County and Red Willow County. Before that, the 739 fire was in Furness County as well and in Gosper County. So it's been a very active fire season so far. What's funny is typically we'd be having this conversation in June all the way up until September because that's a typical wildfire season. But our crews have been going hard since November. You know, the uh, dry summer last year, the record low snowfall this time around during the winter, and of course the high winds that have been happening have led to numerous red flag warnings around the state and then of course these fires. We have to worry about areas like typically in suburban parts of the town, uh, areas that have like larger lots, for example, you know, where we have more vegetation. That's not so much an issue in our inner cities like downtown Omaha, downtown Lincoln. So for homeowners who live in more rural parts of the state or have larger lots with vegetation on their properties, we want them to kind of take into consideration what they're planting. So in Nebraska, we subscribe to Firewise, which is a model that helps us determine um, basically a good strategy for what we're going to be planting you know, around our homes. Uh, we have three different zones that create what we call defensible spaces. We start with uh, what's called the immediate zone. That's within five feet of a structure. Uh, within those five feet, we want to avoid things like planting juniper, you know, something that's highly flammable. We want to keep our grass mode, keep it very short around the base of our homes, you know, sheds, decks, you name it. Uh, we also want to focus on planting things like uh, perennials as opposed to wildflowers. From there, we move into what we call our intermediate zone. That's five to 30 feet away from a structure. The big focus there is pruning. We want to look around and see if we have, you know, trees like limbs hanging over our rooftop. You know, that's essential. We want to prevent the spread of wildfire. If we have an active fire situation, those limbs are coming down. It's obviously a problem. Um, in terms of planting, we'll focus more on, you know, oak, uh, honey locust, elm, still staying away from juniper, spruce, you know, any of the highly flammable sort of plants. From there, we move to what's called the extended zone. That's 30 to 100 feet away from a structure. And that's where we're really gonna focus not so much on what's around the house. We'll be looking at what's in our yards. You know, what kind of litter is there? Do we have down tree limbs? Are there branches, pine cones, seeds? These things are all flammable and they can cause a problem. We're not thinking so much about, you know, what's gonna start a fire. We wanna stop the spread of the fire in that area. And uh, this is also the point where we can start looking at juniper, uh, spruce, uh, kind of color fir, that we can actually plan the plant to those items.